Good day students, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math skills today. For this video, we will be discussing the first theorem on limits at infinity of polynomials. But before we continue with this video, let us recall limits at infinity. What are limits at infinity? Limits at infinity is the case when the independent variable x approaches positive or negative infinity, meaning x increases or decreases without bounds. To know more about this, watch the video about limits at infinity using graphs. The link is in the description. Let's get started. Theorem number one states that for any positive odd integer n, the left-hand limit of x raised to n is equal to negative infinity, and the right-hand limit of x raised to n is equal to positive infinity. Whereas, for any positive even integer n, both the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are equal to positive infinity. Let us observe the graph of f of x is equal to x. As you can see, the left-hand limit approaches negative infinity, whereas the right-hand limit approaches positive infinity. For the graph of f of x is equal to x cubed, the left-hand limit approaches negative infinity, whereas the right-hand limit approaches positive infinity. The graph of f of x to the 5th power, f of x to the 7th power, and f of x to the 9th power also show the same behavior that the left-hand limit approaches negative infinity and the right-hand limit approaches positive infinity. After analyzing the left-hand limit and right-hand limit of the given graphs, we conclude that for any positive odd integer n, the left-hand limit is equal to negative infinity, whereas the right-hand limit is equal to positive infinity. Let us observe the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. As you can see, the left-hand and the right-hand limits approach positive infinity. For the graph of f of x is equal to x to the fourth power, the left-hand limit approaches positive infinity as well as the right-hand limit. The same behavior is shown for the graphs of x to the sixth power, x to the eighth power, and x to the tenth power. Based on the illustrations and the given table, we conclude that for any positive even integer n, the left-hand limit and right-hand limit of x raised to n is positive infinity. Let us have an application of this theorem. Let's find the limit of the function x squared minus 10x plus 10 as x approaches positive infinity. We can rewrite the given function in terms of the limit of x squared as x approaches positive infinity plus the limit of negative 10x as x approaches positive infinity plus the limit of 10 as x approaches positive infinity. Using table of values, let us compute for the limit of the given function. Let us use 1, 10, 100, 1000, and 10,000 for the values of x. Evaluating x squared, we're going to have the following values. Evaluating negative 10x, we're going to have these values. Evaluating 10, which is a constant, would always be equivalent to 10. Adding and subtracting the results vertically, we will come up with these values. As shown in the table, the value becomes larger and larger. Then what is the limit of the function? The limit of x squared minus 10x plus 10 as x approaches positive infinity is positive infinity. And that is theorem number 1 on limits at infinity of polynomials. Watch the next video for the second theorem. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, no, no, no.